Hello and welcome back to Foundry. So I got uh, three smelters going on each ore type. Let me just pick up some of that. There we go. And um, I just got an emergency beacon. Where is it? I just crafted it. There it is. Okay, put it down. It says put it down and call for help. Let's do that. Now it said uh, put it away from anything I don't want destroyed. So we're just going to stick it right there. It doesn't take power, so there's this button on the back here. Send emergency signal. Great. Now and we wait. Back and look up. Oh, there it is. Oh god. A real groundbreaker. This corporate command companion bureaucrat bot, C3BB for short, Friend. will help us establish a connection with Mission Command. First, let's help him out of that drop pod by deconstructing and placing it in a safe location. Friend has arrived. C3BB hub. Alright, what do you do, friend? I'm gonna put him over here, away from... my factory. Welcome to the ground, C3BB. We have activated this emergency beacon because we are having trouble communicating with Mission Command. You speak to him in English, but he replies in beeps and boops? Command space station, you say? Can't you translate for me? Disassembly. That's extremely troubling. What now? Are we trapped here? That aligns with our disaster contingency protocol. C3BB, initiate a thorough analysis of the incident. We'll integrate your extended blueprint archive with our research servers and construct a self-sufficient manufacturing facility capable of providing emergency aid. All right, you got an exclamation above your head. Let's talk to him. C3BB, we can pet it. For some reason. We can chat with it. I have gained no useful Indeed, information. I do wonder about the universe, but let's focus on not getting lost in it, shall we? Uh, research assembler. You're right. We need a machine that is able to craft common items. I'm glad you have the blueprint stored. Let's go ahead and research the assembler. Oh, okay. We got to research. Uh, assembler, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, you have fun there, just wandering around. You made a quite a big crater here. Anything else in here? No, we're good. Okay, um, I think I can access, yeah, research from anywhere. Just a hotkey. I don't have to go to my research center. Assembler. Takes five science pack. Do it. Now, I don't think... There's a queue. You can't queue up other research. So we'll wait for that to finish. In the meantime, I can make more science packs. We'll be automating those pretty soon. Grab that. And while we're waiting for the science and the crafting and all that. 
We can add some more smelters. Why not? Research complete. Well, that was quick. Okay, um, can I make an assembler? Oh, yeah. All right, make six of those. More smelters, just make everything. Set those to output. Let's get a few more on this side. Okay, I'm going to have to... Redo that there. I want the ore coming in on this side. There we go. We can, um, uh, these, this miner will support, or these belts will support more, uh, smelters, but that'll do for now. We can support eight total. We've got three, six there, and six here. So we can do a few more. Uh, but I think I don't have any more smelters at the moment. And we don't have an active research. Let's go ahead and research something because I've been handcrafting these science packs. Yeah, we got 26 in there. Uh, character improvement. Five additional inventory slots. Oh, yes. More inventory slots. Uh, always go for that. Yes. Inventory management is... Uh, Usually my least favorite aspect of any game. Oh, looks like uh, C-3PO wants to talk to me. Get some more conveyors. Grab those rods. There we go. That'll keep my uh, manual crafting queue filled up for a while. Let's see what he wants. C33BB, whatever. C3BB. Active task complete. Research assembler. Great. The assembler will serve as the foundation for mass producing the most commonly required items. Gone are the days of handcrafting. Uh, not yet. C-3BB has been able to establish a limited connection to the space station and will try to extract useful information. Meanwhile, we should focus on scaling up. He could be warning me that Carl is about to betray me and murder me, and I would never know. Science Pack 2. Right. For more advanced research, we need to increase our material science knowledge. Our goal should be to develop a more advanced science pack. 
but don't underestimate the worth of the other blueprints. Early analysis indicates that mission control has already been gone for quite some time, so I don't think we're in a rush. Okay, I really want more inventory slots. Uh, but what does Science Pack 2 cost? Oh, we can't get it yet. We need... What's the other prerequisite? Uh, basic infrastructure? Oh, burner generator. That's a prerequisite to science pack? Okay. Let's get logistics container. That'll be quick. Uh, let's handcraft some more of these science packs. It, I think it's going to be a bit before we can actually automate them. Like fully automate. They have uh, intermediate things I have to make. Mach uh, machinery parts. Let's see. Machinery parts are xenoferrite plates. Okay. So we need to make these, turn these into machinery parts. We gotta set up A little area for that. Okay, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's one belt worth. Of ore. Output. Output. There we go. Oh, look at that ocean. Oh, that's the lake. Well, that's nice. That gives me, um, there's a hole in the ground. That's, uh, that'd be a good direction to expand my factory in. No giant mountains to worry about. Uh, I should go out exploring soon. Not quite yet. We got automation to do. I want to get that burner uh, generator unlocked. Yeah, this um, this uses igneum ore, so no more biomass. So we'll have to uh, ore scanner igneum get that. Research that, and then we'll get the burner generator. more smelter set up here. Output. Output. Okay, time for more handcrafting. More loaders, please. More conveyor belts. More foundations. I 
how we're doing here on biomass. Yeah, it's eating up a lot of biomass. Okay, I could... I could be wrong. I could have been wrong when I said that the fuel is always consumed at the same rate, no matter how much power you're using. It looks like it's being consumed faster than before. I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Ah, huh, that's the grid stats. That's not helping me. Alright, let's put more research in there. Get a couple more assemblers. Uh, logistics containers. Yep. And even more science. Okay. Always be crafting. Now, obviously, um, we can see here the belt is not being saturated fully. Because we only have one miner. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about that. We'll worry about it when I actually need more ore. Which will be soon, but I want to get these assemblers up and running first. Alright, so... Machinery parts. One plate. Takes 1.5 seconds to make. Science. You take 10 machinery parts. 30 seconds to craft. So you want one every three seconds. And here we go. This will make two every three seconds. Okay, so one machinery parts assembler can support two research uh, or um, science pack assemblers. Okay, we're going straight for burner generator. I do need a few more science packs here. Keep making them. Keep that going. Okay, we don't have splitters yet. That is a little further down the tree here somewhere. Balancers, yeah, balancer slash splitter. Um, that's balancer two. Where's the balancer one? Hold on, show all research. There it is. That's what I want next, after the burner generator. Okay, so these assemblers are 3x3. Three three. Alright. Load, load. 
Now, at first, I... Usually when I play these uh, factory games, I don't plan out too far ahead. I don't find that to be too helpful. So, because we're going to be doing a lot of research getting new technologies, so I'm building this on the assumption that it's all going to be uh, torn up and upgraded and rebuilt later. Of course, sometimes that just never happens. Uh, but yeah, I think this is fine for now. We'll feed the plates directly into here and you're going to be making machinery parts. These are probably going to eat up a lot of power. There we go. I don't know how much power they consume. Uh, 50 kilowatts. That's not too bad. Let's get one more. Nope. Not that. We are not crafting right now. Which is not what we want. We gotta be crafting. Alright, at this point I might wanna... Add another miner here. put it down a few tiles. I think we'll be able to get more reach if I do that. Or, uh, reach more, um blocks. Let's see. Got to get power down here. Alright, that should be good. Miner. 58 mineable blocks. 66. Okay. Put it right there. 67. And it's got power. There we go. We're going to put another one over here. Uh, we need three of them. Yeah, three of them should be able to saturate a belt. So I'm going to pause it here and just do this one real quick. Just more of the same. 
digging. I'll be right back. And there we go. We got three miners working on uh, Xenoferrite. Yield last minute 60. If all of them are around 60, that one's 80, then uh, yeah, we'll be okay for now. That should fill up the belt. All right. Should be getting... Yeah, more plates. Gimme. Yeah, it's not quite getting this far. These are sucking them up first, but it'll uh, it'll catch up. Okay, I gotta dump some of this science in there. There we go. Now we got research going again. It stopped for a bit. There's the output. Now, all we need for the input uh, are the rods. We don't have to do anything with these rods. We can keep them as is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's eight. So we don't have to add more smelters, and we have no power. Oh my god. We've got biomass issues. just um yeah we'll do the research right here biomass burner by hand for you it's time to upgrade to the burner generator and dig up ignium ore for automated power production oh thank god let's power up our future all right one one task at a time buddy and what a task this will be So many assemblers. All right, now, oh, here's the thing. Um, in order to get two items, in here I'm gonna need a new type of loader let's see the second lane loader okay we'll get that first I need a few of those and then we'll get the uh, splitter We don't need no foundation. These high-tech conveyor belts can just hover in the air. Huh. 
There we go. It's beautiful. Alright, we're not going to be able to load the machine parts. Until we get the other loaders, but... We can load some of this stuff in by hand. Where's my machine parts? Didn't I have any? Did I use them for something? Thought I had some in my inventory. Uh, split. How do I split? Split stack. Split. There we go. Right click. Shift. Right click. Split. Okay. There we go. Make me some science. Now, uh, we can add more of these assemblers. We have enough resources uh, for that, but... Uh, I don't want to do it now because of my power situation. Yeah, I'm, I'm all out of... Biofuel. Literally, I've got none left. Okay, now I can scan for Ignium. I think that's it. Ignium ore. Okay, do I have a miner? I have a miner. Um, I'm gonna need more foundations here. And more foundations means more plates. And burner generator there. We can make a few of those. Let's just take some of those plates. Uh, what about rods? Yeah, we need more rods. Oh, what did I do here? No, we can't have that. There we go. We gotta be consistent. There we go. Alright, and uh, we'll have to add another miner there. Later. I don't want to do it right now, but... I think I've got some ore in my inventory. Yeah, stick it in there. Okay. Let's go check out this uh, Ignium situation. Now we got the science packs being made here. Uh, I can feed them in here automatically, but we'll do that later. I just want Ignium. Okay, you're underground a little bit. We're gonna have to do some digging. Is that you? I think that's Ignium. Yep. Okay, we don't have to dig out too much of it, but we gotta dig out enough so that the bots have something to work with. I, I don't know for sure, but I, I don't think the bots just, you know, phase through the ground. They, they need to actually have a path. I'm assuming that, anyway.
Okay. This will be where my miner will live. And there we go, we got the second lane loader. Yeah, let's make a few of those. We'll use them in a minute. Okay, let's get the miner down. Uh, 18 mineable ore blocks. That's fine. We'll dig out some more later. This will be enough to get started here. Okay. We need to dig a way up. These ramps take up um, uh, two tiles, two by one. So you gotta keep that in mind when you're clearing a path for ramps. All right. Uh, what, um, so up there on the top left, it shows my height. Uh, I, I wanna know, I wanna keep my factory mostly at the same height at least for now so I gotta know what height this is 135 Is that generator burner generator let's try this thing out blocked by a world object Okay, that should work. Uh, let's get some more foundations here. Then we got to get power to this place. And uh, this thing has to go. Okay, that'll work. How much power do these generate? I think I might need more. Maybe not now, but... If not now, then soon. 1.8 megawatts. Uh, so three biomass burners is one burner generator. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to need more very soon. So, But first, uh, we need power. Let's just get power real quick just to get all this running. Oh, 
There we go. Are these still running or did they run out of power? I guess they're still running. Incredibly. Okay, how are we doing here? No power. Oh, gosh. I'm a silly person. Ramps don't distribute power. We gotta get foundations down here. By the way, there's one setting I would highly recommend. Uh, in settings, gameplay... Uh, if you find that there's too many... Too much debris when you mine stuff... You can turn... I think you can turn off block shattering. Uh, but I turned down... Turned down block shattering speed. So that the little pieces of debris despawn faster. Default is kind of slow. Which is annoying if you're digging deep like this and the debris just kind of piles up and you can't see anything. So I set it to fast. I like a little bit of debris, but um, it's much better than the normal default setting. Which just left the debris. Oh no, I'm out of building blocks. Just a few more. Is that it? That's it. It's working. Yes. One more belt needed. There we go. Okay, I got a few more of these. Let's put them down. Take no power. Did I run out of uh, biofuel? The intakes do require power. Oops, no. I did this wrong. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, these are 4x4. Four four. Okay, they're big. It's hard to see where one ends and the other begins. Okay. Um, now, these are facing the wrong way. Okay, that's right. Almost done here. Okay, I think we ran out of power. Uh, but, maybe I can just... Pick these up. Yeah, we can jumpstart this process. Why?
Just feed them in manually. Split. Yeah, there go the bots. Okay, I think I'm okay now. Nice. Power is no longer an issue. For the time being. What's up, dude? Oh, sorry, I tried to mine you. Expand smelters. Okay, math genius. Translate, Carl. If it takes eight small smelters to fill up a conveyor belt, then we'll build eight for each metal ore. Eight times eight. I don't get it. Alright, anyway. Uh... Yeah, we got uh, Igneum power going. And science automation here. And I'm going to have to end the episode here. So we don't go on too long. How much science do we have in here? We got some. Okay, we'll take that where it needs to go. Let's go ahead and pick another research real quick. Now, I want this stuff, stairs, railings, uh, decor, that kind of thing, but I think I really want the balancers before everything else, so we'll, we'll research that, and, um, yeah, and then next time we can automate, fully automate research by, uh, getting this research into the research centers. I'm gonna move that, it's not gonna stay there, and we'll build more of them as well. But, uh, we finally... Okay, that's just stuck. Finally solved our power situation. Why isn't this running, though? Oh, right. The whole, um... Oh, yeah. The whole second lane loader thing. Let's set that up. Boom. There we go. Yeah, we can have the belts input side by side. Uh, second lane loader will take from the second lane belt. And this one will just pass right through. And if we want a third item, we'll have to use a third lane belt, I guess. I never got that far. Or we can input from the side here. Or the front. That's also a possibility. There are other ways to do it. Anyway, we're running. We're up and running. Next time, more science. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.